hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by so my people breeze don't the blue foul nyash don't begin the open small small i told you guys that once their tenor is over they will begin to tell us the things we need to know one after the other here we have Loretta Onoche, the senior special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari, the immediate government that just passed, telling us the high corruption in the judiciary. I'm going to be giving you guys the gist, but please, I want to beg you all to please help me by liking this video. Also share with others so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. It says, many hours ago, the chairman of the Niger Data Development Commission, Loretta Onoche, took to her verified Facebook page to leave some allegations against the criminal justice system in Nigeria. Loretta Onoche said, today, our prison agency provides home comfort like mobile phones and special rooms with air conditions ac for big men in their custody speaking further loretta onoche said today nigerian court grants an accused big man a generous bay usually a slap on the wrist and released him or her into the custody of the prison where in some cases they hire someone, someone else, who would replace the accused in their custody. <laughs> and I never know what's in the happen for this country. They still get more to tell us. Shabina Aine come and come tell us yesterday, say uh, that they help, uh, uh, that they help politicians, they rig election. And if something is not done or a body is not set up, they will continue to go unpunished. So Loretta Onoche is also telling us now that once all these big men are convicted, they will hire someone else to replace them in custody. Let's continue. He says, again, Loretta Onoche said, Personally, I have always said it, that the problem of Nigeria is not uh, tribal nor religion. It is rather the big man versus the poor man. Not be me, they talk this one. They come from Buhari personal assistant, Loretta Onoche, that you all knows. You can head to her Facebook page to verify. He said the corrupt civil and public servant have a system in place where offenders who are big men escape justice. Lastly, Loretta Onoche said, we have unfair illegal system where only ordinary people, mark that word, only ordinary people get guilty verdict in court and serve time in jail. This does not argue well for the psychological and emotional head of our nation. The full statement reads, there are no consequences for elite offenders, aka big man. The problem with our criminal justice system, I have always said it that the problem of Nigeria is not tribal nor religion. It is big man versus poor man. The corrupt civil and public servant have a system in place where offenders who are big men escape justice. Such an unfair illegal system where only ordinary people get guilty verdict in court and serve time in jails does not argue well for the emotional and psychological head of our nation. The criminal justice system is now big business. There is a cartel in Nigeria that ensures that big men or women do not reap what they sow in terms of the consequences of breaking the laws of our land. Some judges and some prison officials are involved. They are funded by big men or women who are accused of criminal actions. Plan A. The court would grant the accused a generous bay, usually a slap on the wrist, and release him or her into the custody of the prison. Plan B. The prison would provide all the home comfort like mobile phones, air-conditioned special room, conjugal visit for sexual purposes, and in some cases, they would hire someone, someone else who would replace the accused in the custody. Plan C, the accused could also go home and enjoy his undeserved freedom while a paid surrogate replaced him in jail. At home, shameless Nigerians would sneak into his home to pay homage. The day his jail term comes to an end, 
Same shameless people would mobilize themselves to go dancing. Disgusting. That has been the practice in Nigeria. This then means that only ordinary Nigerians face justice in Nigeria. This is why ex convict do not hide their face in shame. They mingle with clean people. Why would an agency of government want to arrest a big man and another agency block it? What the hell is that? Head must begin to roll. Consequences, please. We must allow the criminal justice system to function without undue hanky panky by those who have the cash to influence and twist the system. We are all equal before the law. Hashtag say no to justice discrimination. Same treatment for everyone. Let head roll. God bless Nigeria. And this is coming from no order, but Mrs. Loretta. Or not here. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. The truth is that these people, they have much more to tell us. They've not started. Let me take some uh, comments for you guys. Someone here says, Loretta forget to smoke her weed. She is making sense for the first time. This justifies why prison officials are fighting to have MFLA dollar rain in their custody by giving him such first class treatment in exchange for dollars where does the righteous stand in this country as a foundation our institutions are destroyed someone here says why are you saying this now if you are arrested for one thing or the other you will experience the same thing as long as you support the corrupt government the government which you are deeply involved is the architect of all this and all that and the current woes of nigeria they are speaking out now because the eternal has expired so they are coming us very soon eh? very soon you all will hear more i never even see anything so let me take the last comment here then i will leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section this person here says to be frank prisons that is nicknamed correctional services is as corrupt that loretta is speaking the truth but this is not happening in all the correctional centers the ever most corrupt controller general of prison imposed upon the service by malami and former senate president lawa ahmed is still the same man imposed upon the interior board and he still have great influence on prison a man that is so corrupt that no amount is small is too small to steal people Nothing to write home about prisons at all. They are not correcting anything. Hmm. There should there should be mass retirement of their superior officer and the service should be overhauled. To be frank, some top senior officers run errands for inmates under them and use their so-called rank to keep the junior staff away from the where to do inmates because of what they will get. Majority of prison staffs borrow money from the inmate. How I wish that presidency can read this and carry out independent investigation, but government also are the cause of all this shameful things happening at the correctional centers that comment cap it off for me i truly do not have more things to say because this video is getting longer this is it for you all my people i saw the news from loretta on a chair they are beginning to open their they expose themselves one after the other because the eternal has expired so i'm gonna let you all share your thought with me on the comment section and with that i'll say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you your love your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted so let me know what you think and i'll see you all in my next video Bye bye bye